This one GPT might be one of the best and most robust GPTs that there is. It's like a Swiss army knife of research. All right, so I'm going to show you what it is, how to use it, and why it has some advantages over the built-in features of ChatGPT. All right, so we're going to be take today taking a quick look at the Vox Script GPT. It's one of my favorites. I've used hundreds of GPTs, and I think this one's going to save you a lot of time. All right, let's jump straight into it. But if you're new here, my name's Jordan. I host Everyday AI. Every day, we do about a five-minute tip tutorial trick to help you use generative AI to grow your company, grow your career. If that's you, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and let me know if this video was helpful. All right, so let's just jump in. We're going to do a couple things live. We These aren't edited, so uh, so here's why I think VoxScript is an amazing GPT. Well, it does things that you can't do by default with chat GPT. So let's look at a couple of them. So first I have a URL of a PDF. So right now by default, you can't have chat GPT go to a specific URL. You need to use browse with Bing. Sometimes you can tell it to look for something. Sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it won't. So uh, I'm doing something just with a PDF. You could obviously upload a PDF into chat GPT, but let's just go ahead and uh, find something. So this is my needle in a haystack PDF. So essentially, let's see what page it's on here. Uh, let's see what page is it? There we go. So it is uh, midway through here on page 23. I say, my name is Jordan. My favorite food is deep dish pizza. My favorite color is Carolina blue. I'm from Chicago. So if, essentially we're seeing if this GPT can find this information that's hidden inside this PDF. So I'm going to say now I'm inside the, uh, the Vox script. So I'm going to say, please visit this page and tell me what Jordan's favorite, uh, color is. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. And if you don't know what a GPT is, you need chat GPT plus, uh, to use different GPTs. Well, you used to, haha, <laughs> gotcha. There's actually new updates that are rolling out right now. If you do have access to the free version of GPT 4.0, which they have been, uh, that they've started to roll it out, then you will have access to use GPTs. So check, that's actually something that's changing. So check your account right now, even if you have a free account. All right. So, uh, so interesting. So this is why I do these live. So normally when I test this out, it works. So I'm just going to click regenerate. Uh, it didn't work this time. Uh, so let's see if it will work the second time. So uh, kind of using this PDF option, it didn't work. I'm going to go ahead and download this. Uh, and we'll try it in chat GPT to see if it works as well. So let's see if the second attempt work. So again, we're doing this live. I love, I love the Vox script GPS. So interesting. So this time it did not work, whereas generally it works, but that's okay. Uh, that is just the tip of what this can do. So now let's try something else. So I'm going to try, I'm going to go into episodes here. I'm going to go to today's episode and I'm going to tell me, uh, I'm going to use this, uh, box script and say, tell me what this page is about. All right. Whoops. I should probably paste something in there, right? All right. Yeah, that would help uh, if I clicked paste and not just V. There we go. All right. So there we go. We have this. So VoxScript should uh, visit that exact page. I'm going to click always allow because it's going to ask for permission each and every time until I clicked always allow. You should also always know, uh, how these different third party, uh, GPTs use your data. So make sure to check that out. So, uh, here we go. We got an accurate summary, which is great. All right. So you might be saying, okay, what's, what's the big deal here? Uh, why is this, you know, why is this noteworthy? Why is this worth using? Well, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and do this inside chat GPT and I'm going to say the same thing. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to copy that exact, uh, that exact thing that I said there. So I said, tell me what this page is about. I'm going to go into the normal chat GPT and this probably won't work because all it's going to do is it is going to browse with Bing to see if it can find this URL, but chances are it's not going to be able to, because it is a brand new page. Uh, it probably hasn't even been indexed, uh, by Google yet or by Bing. So it's probably going to, uh, essentially query these keywords here and spit back something that it finds in its research. So it says, uh, so interestingly enough, it got some of it 
right, but it did not, uh, a lot of it is some hallucination. So as an example, it's saying something in here about ethical considerations and the importance of human AI collaboration are highlighted. So didn't talk about that at all. Uh, so I can tell that it, it is hallucinating a bit here. So that is a huge benefit. Uh, so we actually were able to visit the page here and you can see here, if you click this down that you can see that it actually visited uh, that URL, which is super important. So let's uh, let's do another thing, uh, talk about another capability here, which it can see the basics of YouTube videos as well. So here's a YouTube video uh, from our channel talking about how to access the ChatGPT desktop app. So I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna do something simple. I'm gonna say, please recap this video. All right, let me get that in there. I hate typing live. Uh, so let's see how the VoxScript GPT, GPT does in recapping uh, this YouTube video. So let's see if it gets it right. There we go, got it right. So pretty cool here. So, I mean, just this one feature alone is huge, right? Uh, being able to uh, kind of go over YouTube videos uh, and being able to extract key insights is something that is going to save you a lot of time. So there are other features. So obviously with VoxScript, you can do a lot of things that you can do with Browse with Bing, such as uh, query the internet, look at multiple pages at once. But the biggest feature here, so uh, reading the live PDF didn't work which I was uh, interesting. So this didn't work, whereas normally it does work. So could could just be a bug. However, just those other two features that I showed you, those aren't possible right now to do without a GPT. So to have a single GPT that you can both visit a specific web page and get accurate information uh, and also get key insights from a YouTube video. Just those two features alone are going to save you so much time. So VoxScript is an extremely flexible and robust plugin I think that most people should be using. All right, I hope this is helpful. If so, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.